Welcome back. A few weeks ago, seven footer Efton Reed announced he was transferring from LSU to Gonzaga. The former five star center is expected to start in Gonzaga's front court next year and have an immediate impact. Today I sat down with Reed for his first interview since committing to GU. I know I made the right decision in my heart. There's no going back for Efton Reed, and it's understandable when you hear how the Gonzaga staff pitched him the program. Being in a system that fits my, my needs and stuff and just seeing the guys who like were in that system as a big, that as, a, as a skilled big, just thrive in that system, like why not come to Gonzaga to, you know, be a better player and, you know, be in a winning culture basically. That word win? Well, it's going to come up a lot during this interview. It's obviously the thing that fuels Efton the most. I would describe myself as just a very skilled player. Uh, I just want... Every time I step on the court, I want to win, so I'm a competitor. And I just do whatever it takes to win, basically. I do. Whether that be, you know, setting the screen for my point guard to get the open basket or, you know, talking on defense, motivating my teammates, just everything. I just want to win every time I step on the court. As for his personality, Efton describes himself as a very low-key guy, which matches up with his recruitment. There were no top ten lists or grand statements from the Virginia native. I really don't care about the hype. I really don't. Everyone's contacting me out of the yin yang about me putting out my list and my, my offers and all that. But it just really doesn't matter to me. I really am a simple person, to be honest. I know who I am in Christ. So everyone can say anything about you, but at the end of the day, I'm only worried about God's judgment. That doesn't mean, though, that Reed doesn't want to improve. Last year at LSU, he averaged 6.3 points and 4.3 rebounds per game while starting every contest for the Tigers. It's obvious the season didn't live up to Reed's expectations, and he wants to right the ship. I can show that I'm a really skilled big, but I really wasn't afforded that opportunity. You know, I was, but at the same time, it really wasn't, I really wasn't put in position to show what I can do. And when I, when I was shown, you know, they saw a little flashes, but... For me, I'm just worried about getting better and getting stronger and just helping my team win at the next level, basically. That's what I'm really focused on. Efton's certainly ready for his next chapter. You can tell he's ready to work. Oh, I'm just excited to play. Like, I'm, I'm excited to get to work, hone in on my craft, develop at Gonzaga, and not only develop, but just get better as a player and as a human being. And I'm just excited to, to play, put on that Zag jersey. Another thing Efton said during our interview is that he's looking forward to playing in front of the kennel and that passionate fan base is really <laughs> motivate him. Sure. Certainly going to get that there. Yeah. And of course, we did ask him about NIL deals. He says he doesn't have anything set up right now, but that he's had a lot going on over the last month. So he plans to get that figured out soon. Always nice when you get a seven foot transfer, right? Yeah, not not bad. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I know these things because I cover these guys, but you guys made the point. How old is he? Well, yeah. he's only going to be a sophomore. So, uh -huh. uh, That's great. Yeah, so there's still a, a, a lot of time that we could have with Efton here. Yeah. That's really great. Some, yeah. One more thing to look forward to. Yes. yes. Thanks, Thank you very much.